Hello and welcome to another episode of the Sport and Society and uh, Neuma Business School Sport Business Talks. But today, Vijay and I will uh, do something different. I mean, Professor Pereira and I, we have been doing this for close to a year now. But the most important announcement that all of you have already seen is the conference exactly a year from now here at the Neuma Business School in Rams. And, and, and all of us are excited. It will be one of the biggest uh, business sport conferences, Paris and France at the time of the Olympics and the Paralympics. Two days before the start of the Paralympic Games, we can take stock of the Olympics. And the man who actually made it possible, we've been talking about it for a couple of years, Professor Vijay Pereira. Vijay, why don't you tell my viewers and, and your viewers as well, as well, what exactly are the plans for the conference? Give me some details. So we have zeroed in on the dates. It's the 25th, 26th and the 27th of August 2024. So to the 25th, we will have a gala dinner with special guests, uh, which Bori has already announced previously, and other guests from Europe as well joining us. Uh, on the 26th and 27th, two full days of academic discussion, presentations, keynote speakers, uh, two very exciting days. And of course, then we in the evenings, we have planned uh, the get togethers and going out and seeing champagne, the champagne factory and uh, the Notre Dame and so on and so forth. So attractions along with Boria, the academic stuff. The perfect Olympic experience, if you can call it. So culture, socialization, sport discussion, and of course, enjoying uh, France. Two questions to Vijay. One, he mentioned uh, the keynotes. We've already got Abhinav Bindra, we've got Deepa Malik, we've got Vinil Krishna, Secretary of Sports Government of Odisha, from the athletes and the practitioner standpoint. Something that Professor Pereira was very keen on, that you try and get academics, you get athletes, you get media, you get practitioners, because for the first time, we need to have a dialogue that is, that is holistic. That was your plan, right? That you wanted to bridge the gap between academe and uh, the more practicing world. Indeed, indeed. And uh, also we have uh, uh, from the Olympic Committee from France, Europe, the UK, uh, and we have guests coming all the way from the US uh, and other emerging countries as well. So, so really, Gurya, as you rightly say, it's a mix of not only academics and practitioners and policy makers, but also geographically we are, inv we are invited and people would attend from across the world. That's the other point, and uh, people from across the world coming to students, why are we wanting to make this conference what it is? There will be parallel sessions, so make note, there'll be keynotes, there'll be plenary sessions, there will be parallel sessions, and if you want to be part of it, all you need to do is send in your abstract 300 words to uh, Dr. Shobhit Naha or uh, uh, Daisy Vaz. The two of them are conveners of this particular conference in our call for papers. Both their emails are listed. Send in your abstracts to them and then there will be a screening process following which we will accept the abstracts. Also important, each one of your presentations stand a chance for publication thereafter in special issues that we will be doing out of the conference to be edited by Professor Pereira, myself and a team of academics. So that's your opportunity you know, to, to, to be able to do it. To be for a student to have the experience of France and Paris during the Olympic Games and subsequently published can give a head start to a career. Indeed, and, 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 and as we all know, conference is a place where you network. And we have uh, uh, the spread, as Boria said, and across the world, as I say, uh, in terms of the, the movers and shakers in this business, business and sport. So we have athletes of repute, we have government, uh, policy makers and we have representatives from businesses all plus, coming plus together. Plus the publishing community. Absolutely. So a great opportunity for, for both students as well as well-established practitioners and academics. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and always we had this idea that we need to get the business world close to the sports world because without monetization, without commercialism, there is no sport. Without the big deals, without the broadcast deals, there is no sport and we all know that. So while on the one hand it's sport for all and sport for development and sport for peace, the other side is the business of sport. Key themes, we have listed them in our call for papers, but I would ask Professor Pereira once again to tell you the key themes of this conference. Go for it. Yeah, so the overarching theme, again, I reiterate, is the implications or the impact of business on sport and its subsequent consequence and impact on society. So these are the three key 
areas or parties we're looking at business sport and society and the interlinkages between these three key uh, key, uh, key areas now in terms of how we break it down uh, we are having for example uh, narrower topics such as operations uh, human resource management uh, culture and so on on one side but also then we have the brighter side of sport how it has evolved and helped many people get out of poverty and get out of uh, their, their their mundane life but also the dark side of sport so we are uh, this is an eclectic collection of topics that we're going to have the traditional ones but the more newer ones as well yes and, and you know how for example technology uh, impacts the business of sport going forward the whole question of sustainability which is so important in an olympic games or for that matter any mega event so that's the whole idea to uh, conclude Conference 25th, 26th, 27th August of 2024 here at the Neoma Business School Rans campus in uh, France, which is 30 minutes maximum or 40 minutes from, from Paris. So the idea is to spend intellectually the couple of days here, then to move on to the Paralympic Games and do a lot of culture, which includes Champagne, of course, because you're in the middle of the Champagne region. And this is a beautiful place. I have experienced it myself. So what are you doing? Take your opportunity. Come here, submit your abstracts and who knows, yours can be picked. Vijay, closing comments. Yes, exciting times, Olympics, Paris, France and our conference. So please do come as Borea says, we really look forward to seeing you, hosting you and, and doing some good work. Thank you.